Good morning, students. Welcome to chemistry class. Today I am going to be discussing about the from structure of atom, success of Bohr model or Bohr atomic theory. We know that the main postulates of Bohr atomic theory: electrons revolve around the nucleus with a specific velocity in a circular path. The circular path are called as orbits. And the momentum is equal to the mv r equal to n h by 2 pi angular momentum. So all these we know as a postulates, main postulates of our atomic theory. Now, from this theory, we have to know or learn what is the success of this theory. One by one, I will explain to you. There are six successes are there. First one is, first one is Bose theory explains Bose theory explains the formation of lines, the formation of lines in hydrogen spectrum, in hydrogen spectrum wave numbers corresponding to the. Wave numbers corresponding to the spectral lines in hydrogen spectrum. Wave numbers corresponding to the spectral lines in hydrogen spectrum, as calculated from Bose theory or good arrangement or in good arrangement with the experimental values. Experimental values. So in that the wave numbers, all these we have to calculate. As a calculated as a experimental values, experimental values. Okay, now so this is the one of the merit, one of the merit. Okay, so explain the formation of spectral lines, spectral lines for the hydrogen spectrum. That uh, wave numbers are corresponding to the spectral lines in hydrogen. Wave numbers are corresponding to the Corresponding to the spectral lines in hydrogen spectrum, that is calculated with experimental values. So that is a good agreement. So that is suitable. That is a suitable. Okay, like this. Now then another one is uh, the values of Redbird. The values of Redbird constant calculated using Bose theory is in good arrangement with the value with the Value with the value one zero nine six one zero nine six seven seven zero zero meter inverse meter inverse okay meter inverse or one zero nine six seven seven into centimeters centimeters so meter means two zero two zero for adding okay so This is the value of the number constant calculated using Bose theory is in good arrangement with the values one zero nine six seven seven zero zero meter inverse. Okay, so this value calculated from the Bose theory. Okay, then another one is third value. Third, third success is using Bose theory. Using Bose theory. It is possible to calculate. Possible to calculate the energy of an electron. The energy of an electron. Electron. E minus. It is the symbol of electron. In any orbit of hydrogen atom. In any orbit of hydrogen atom. Okay. So this theory is possible to calculate the energy of an electron in any orbit of hydrogen atom. So this is equal to the energy of electron in any orbit of the hydrogen atom. Okay, this is this is one of the helpful condition. And another one is the radii of hydrogen, radii, radii of hydrogen and hydrogen-like species, hydrogen-like species which cannot, which can, which contain a single electron. As determined experimentally, determined experimentally, or 
in good arrangements with the calibrate using Bohr's theory. Using Bohr's theory. Okay. So we have to calculate the energy of electron in any orbit of an hydrogen. And here another one is radius of hydrogen. And any and any hydrogen like species, single electron species like lithium plus two, two plus 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 or helium, H H plus. So all these single electrons, single electron. So the radius of hydrogen and hydrogen like species means single electron species. The radius of single electron species we can calculate by using Bohr theory. By using Bohr theory. One is energy of electron we have to calculate by using this theory. Another one is radii. Radii of also calculated by using this theory. Okay. Now here energy of the electron how to calculate it like this. How to calculate it. And here the energy of electron for the electron energy of electron calculated for the electron in nth orbit in nth orbit nth nth 1 2 3 like this nth orbit the energy is given by e n e n so energy of n n means orbit here orbit so e n equal to minus k square k is a constant k square into 2 pi square into m e to the power of 4 z to the power of 2 uh, z square by n square h square by using this by using this formula we can calculate energy of the electron in an nth orbit of hydrogen or single electron species single electron species Okay, so E n equal to this formula we have to use for the energy of energy of electron, calculated energy of electron in nth orbit, nth orbit, n means what? 1, 2, 3 like this. N equal to 1, 2, 3 like this. So these are orbits or cells or energy levels, energy levels. Okay, so the terms explained here where h equal to Planck's constant, the value is 6.6 to 6 into 10 power minus 34 joules per second. m, m is mass of electron, that is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kg. And e means charge of charge on the electron, charge on the electron, that equal to 1.6022 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. Then K, K means what here? Constant, Coulomb law constant. K means what? Coulomb law constant. The value is uh, the value is 9 into 10 power 9 joules meter joules meter per Coulomb square per Coulomb square. Z means what? Atomic number. Z means atomic number. When when using all these substituted in this formula. All values substituted in this formula. Finally, we get the finally we get the value e n equal to minus 2.18 into 10 power minus 18 by t square by m square t square by m square joules per atom joules per atom. Okay, so for one more for one more of electrons <coughs> this is also z square ok for the one more of electrons the expression becomes the expression becomes for one more for one more means into 6, 6 point to 0 to 2 into 10 power 23 10 power 23 that is for one more I have got a number so when Calculated by using that, we will get a minus 13 point, we will get a minus 13 point uh, 6 z square by n square, z square by n square, 
इन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वोल्ट पर एटम इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट पर एटम एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू इन किलो जोल्स पर मोल द वैल्यू दैट वैल्यू किलो जोल्स पर मोल पर मोल 1312 जेड स्क्वायर 1312 जेड स्क्वायर माइनस 1312 जेड स्क्वायर बाय जेड स्क्वायर दिस वैल्यू व्हेन दिस इज दिस इज माइनस 2.18 into 10 power 18 into 6.022 into 10 power 43. When calculate this one, we'll get or becomes that E is equal to minus 1312 by z square by y square kilo joules per mole. Kilo joules per mole. Okay. Then in electron volts, the value this value in electron volts is minus 13.6 z square by y square. Electron volts per atom. Okay, then first one is using Bohr's theory. Using Bohr's theory, it is possible to calculate the radius of any orbit in hydrogen. Any orbit in hydrogen radius. So for n orbit for hydrogen of hydrogen, R n equal to radius. R n equal to n square h square by 2 pi 4 pi square n square h square by 4 pi square this is the one of the formula r n equal to r n equal to n square h square by 4 pi square k m e square k means coulomb constant m means mass of electron e means charge of the electron charge of the electron Okay, so this is number of orbit. This is Planck's constant. This is r n minutes per n orbit radius. Radius of the n orbit. Okay, so that equal to after this this value substituted in formula that gives zero point five three into ten power minus ten n square m n square m. So 10 power minus 10 meter minus 10 meter that is equal to the one angstrom one angstrom unit okay one angstrom unit 10 power minus 10 meter equal to one angstrom unit so that's why we we will write as this 0.53 square angstrom okay that is the that is the nth orbit radius of nth orbit radius of nth orbit all this you must be remember or keep in your mind practice it okay and velocity of electrons and also using this theory velocity of electrons also we will calculate for the nth cell of hydrogen nth cell for the nth cell that is v n equal to velocity V n equal to this formula we have to use here this formula okay two pi k z e square by n h you know that k coulomb constant and this is z atomic number this is e charge on the electron charge on the electron okay so this values this values substituted in this We'll get the the value is 2.18 into 10 power 6 into z. 2.18 into 10 power 6 into z. Z meter per second. Meter per second per hydrogen atom. Per hydrogen atom. By y square. By y square. So this is converted into nanometer. This is converted into picometers. By using that values, picometers means ten to the power of uh, minus twelve, minus twelve, and uh, meters means ten to the power of minus ten meters. Nanometers means ten to the power of minus nine meters, minus nine meters. Okay, so that is uh, depending on the situation, we have to convert it uh, one units to another units. Okay, so this is the. Successor of Bohr atomic model or Bohr atomic Bohr atomic theory.
Okay, so you must be, you must be learn this, this one and this one and this one, and also you keep in our mind these values, these values for the calculation purpose, for the calculation purpose. Okay, thank you for watching this video.